Ladies and gentlemen, the show that changed the history for podcasts, SoundCloud, Instagram, Snapchat, and everything you've heard in the world. The show that has the two sexiest women to my left. The two flyest niggas to my right. And the flies of the mullen right down the middle. El negro que te lo vas a lo cura, your girlfriend trending topic, el duro de lo duro, el puerto de lo fuerte. Y no te, y no te olvides que tenemos la voz de Dios detrás de la cámara. El negro que te lo vas a lo cura. Con el gorrito lindo de la radio y Jason David. Y Sarita. Y Micaela. Hey girls, how hey. you doing? All right, so obviously today the Instagram the social media, the Twitters, all have been talking about the same subject. The H&M scandal. That's what I'm going to call it. I think I, I think I like the name, right? Scandal. Scandal. So there was this picture. There was this picture about this young boy um, of a dark skin complexion wearing um, a hoodie, right? A hoodie? Correct. A hoodie that said the... No, it's a shirt. A shirt, right? No, but what, no, no, what, was the, what was the exact no, message? The coolest... The monkey. The coolest monkey in the jungle, something yes, like that? Yes, yes, yeah. The coolest monkey in the jungle. <laughs> so, before we go, yep. you know, social media has taken it as if it's a very racist, a very prejudiced, uh, quote-unquote, trying to slide through this. Do you agree to this? What's your perspective on it? What are you getting out of these comments and these? I don't agree with it. I think they're making it a big issue because the little kid was black. Because if he was white, it would be no issue at all. I just feel like only because he's black, they're, they're making it a big issue. Okay. I also have to agree with him on, I don't think the platform itself was any type of racial or, um, you know, propaganda or what, you know, what people was calling it for the simple fact that, again, it could have been anybody. It could have been an Asian kid. It could have been anybody on the picture wearing the same hoodie. And the pro- it would never been a problem. But because the little kid is black, now you want to make it seem something? Now, because the word monkey is on the sweater itself, you want to make it seem like it's a problem. No, that's not a problem. I honestly think there's nothing wrong with the image. Um, those that people that are actually going bashing H&M for it, they have a problem. I mean, call it what you want. It's not racist. I don't think it's racist. I think that we need to see the kid as a kid. Because kids walk around like they do monkey things. Why are we making him a black kid? Why do I have to be racist? Why are they being racist to him as an innocent child? I think as a multi-millionaire company, you have a certain amount of people that work within that brand to make the brand what it is, to make that brand diverse, and to make that brand fit everybody's customs, beliefs, every shape, every color, and every size. So I think what is bad is that a company with that has so much focus on already, because it's, it's cheap. You, everybody can shop at H&M. I'm chubby. I shop, I shop at H&M. People that are skinny. So with, pe- with a company that is so successful and then you're going to post an image like that, you're losing your customers because whether or not I believe that it's racist or not, you're still going to lose a customer that does believe that it is racist. I mean, you just lost your contract with so many stars. The weekend has definitely announced that you know he's saying? no longer working. So regardless if you think you're racist or not, it's, an, uh, it's something that's put out there. Look at the Pepsi scandal. It's the same thing. So you have so many people looking at it. You mean to tell me that somebody on your team did not tell you that maybe we shouldn't be taking a picture like that, especially with such controversy now because of our current president? That's my problem. So do you? So you believe it is? Ra- it's a racist. I agree. Voice of God. Um, where are the headquarters of H and M? Where they even from? No Los clue. Angeles. Huh? Los Angeles. No, where, where they orig- is it originated here in New Jersey? Yeah. Oh, so I have a question for you, Miguel, because I'm. Oh. No, he was breathing. He took a pause. He was breathing. Okay. Okay. Lo que yo pienso personal. Si la mamá o el papá de ese muchacho, que obviamente si el chamaquito es negro, los papás son negros, si no le ha gustado la mitad, digo yo. ¿Verdad? Yes. No dijeron nada, porque ellos tienen que ver el outfit que le van a poner a su muchacho. ¿Verdad? Y ellos le dijeron, no, oh, the coolest, the coolest, the uh, monkey in the, ¿cómo que that's not how that's it not works? He's a minor. No, that's a, you sign a contract. Let me, let me tell you something about contracts. Yeah. At the beginning of that photo shoot, before that minor even steps foot in there, you have to have a contract signed with a modeling agency. Okay, but. That modeling agency sends that minor in there, and the parents have already signed everything off. 
the parents have signed all rights to what that child is wearing once you sign up that child for modeling I'm with that I'm, company. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, because if not, parents, people, kids wearing bikinis, the parents would be outraged but if kids I wearing feel bikinis like or things like that. You know what I'm saying? Kids wear bikinis all the time. I don't think so. Nobody says anything. I feel oh, I like people, people focus. Things, people yeah. focus too in depth. Why can't we just all be people? Like why can't we just all be? It doesn't matter if I'm dark. It doesn't matter if I'm light. It doesn't matter if I'm tall. If I'm a boy. If I'm a girl. Why can't we just be people? Why do I have to be a? Why? Because what says on my shirt has to be what I am. No, it's a little kid that's I'm, I'm keep, jumping I'm around keep, like a monkey. My daughter jumps around like a monkey. So if people call her a monkey. I'm gonna keep, keep it hundred. I'm gonna keep it a stack. To me, this country is sensitive as shit. We're too sensitive. My nigga, she say, oh. If the, let's let's say, oh, I walk around and they say, yo, Shadow, you think I'm going to be mad because of that shit? All right, cool, call me Shadow. What the fuck do you want? I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? We too sensitive when it comes to little ass kids. Because this is not that serious. It's really not. It's really not. It's, they, they taking it. Out. Okay, it sounds, it sounds, oh, shit. So wait, I what, what if the kid is like, yo, I like that sweater? What if the kid, so I have a what question. if it was just a dark skin kid? I have, a question. I have a question. Yeah, I, mean, I, a I have a I have a I have a huge question. So this was never a pro- this was never a problem. Racism was never a problem when Barack Obama was president. Am I right or wrong? Can I get a consistency well, on here? Yeah, there was, I, there was, but there was a lot of problems, yes, because they kept so calling him monkey and stuff, but it wasn't such a big problem and it wasn't made so public as it is now with our new president. Am okay. I right or wrong? He's always too sensitive. Because, because people the are they're allowing it. They feel because it's the accepted pre- to do. Because the president himself, that's supposed to be leading a free world, a country that is a mixing pot, that is when you were a kid, that's what they used to tell you all the time. They used to tell you that in this country you could be free, you could be whoever you want. Now this president is telling you you can't. So the people that feel oppressed and the people that are upset about things like that, because as a Spanish person, I would be upset if somebody said something out of my name. I'm a person, I understand that, especially when kids are involved. But it doesn't stop people from feeling how they feel. At a point right now where we were targeted as immigrants, at a point right now where we were tar- targeted based off our skin color, people are still upset about that. You can't just let that go just because it's been talked about so much. They're going to continue talking about it until something changes. And nothing is going to change for a while. And but it's something we're going to have to get thing, accustomed to. I'm going to tell you the reason why nothing is going to change. <coughs> Turn it around because now I'm talking serious. I'm, I'm going to tell you the, the reason why nothing is going to change. Because the fact that that little sweater is causing so much controversy, that means that since, oh, you calling him a monkey, I'm going to be mad at you now. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, you call him a monkey? All right, cool. You think we're monkey? That's you. That's you. That's you, my nigga. You know what I mean? I know what I am. I, I understand who I am. But you know who creates the controversy? But no. The, the people. The, the, the people who have two you, different you, mindsets of things. You know so that's the, the thing is that they're too sensitive. That's the thing. They're letting stuff get... Like when Donald Trump says... Oh, these black motherfuckers, that's totally different. Yes. You attacking. But he has called people really bad. No, no, listen, listen. I, I, would, I would, I would say, I would, what, I, what I do have to agree with is that it depends how you're taking things and how you understand things. Do I think if that sweater was on a white boy, would it have been an issue? No, it wouldn't, right? If it would have been... On a Asian looking kid would have been an issue, mm-hmm. no, all right. But since it was a uh, a child of color, and the people of color have been oppressed, and people of color been been related to that animal, Girl. that's why it's becoming an issue, correct? But my thing is, aren't we all pushing to be equal? Mm-hmm. We are. Okay, but it's a so process. okay, no, okay, but my thing is, my thing is, you, you said it, it's a process, right? So don't you think one of the part of the process is us understanding that something that was once an insult shouldn't even be considered as an insult? No. What? My, this, 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 this is what I'm trying to say. Look, I don't feel, cause first of all, so me, if somebody called no, you spick or out of your name, would you be upset? <laughs> but it's not. Who me? Who me? It's not. Yo, listen. Spick of the playground. No, 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 no. You can call me spick of the playground. That's totally fine. Me as a person. I'm going to smile and I'm going to say what's up to you. No, see? I feel Be- like and, but, you know, but you know why I'm going to do that? You know why I'm going to do that? Because, because No, no. Voice. Because I understand that me as a person, I am more developed than you are. And I understand that I don't need to go to where you are right now to, like, make a point. Because now what's happening is people feel the need to make the sweater of the, of the, other, of the other white boy yeah, and, put the Reese's, and put the Reese's crackers right. on it. 
See, but I don't but, understand why we're targeting children. That's my but, point. But, but I'm going to explain to you why. But the thing they is... Are. They are. No, they are. They as are. A corporate, as a corporate, when you release an image like that, you're telling me that a lot of people did not view that? The president of that... No, 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 no. I, I, I wasn't saying target like that. Sweater, it's it, it is just a sweater, but he's wearing it. You have to look at the a bigger picture and how people are... are you don't... Okay. Hold, hold, come on. So, <laughs> what... what? Uh, Mikaela, what's your favorite animal? Elephant. <coughs> elephant. Right? And I'm fat. See, I'm an elephant. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Okay. And that's perfect, right? So, what do you think somebody who is very um, feminism and about... Body, body image and whatnot, and they put and they put a chubby girl with an elephant. Like, oh, I'm an elephant, and they take that offensively, and they go, oh no, oh no, hold up, and they go all through. Oh my God, they're trying to say that she looks like an elephant, blah 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 blah. But you like your elephant. You, you, no, 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 time out, time out. Let me finish. Let me finish. You like that elephant? That's your elephant. That's your favorite animal. That's your favorite animal, right? What if that monkey is that boy's favorite animal? What if he really wants to be the coolest monkey in the jungle? You understand what I'm trying to say, though? No, I like, understand. And, and I feel I like as, as grown-ups, we're the ones that are really, like, blowing this shit up. Mm -hmm. Because I think the kids are really like, yo, listen, that's shit, I like that's monkeys, the so... That's monkey. That's, that's the, the coolest, coolest monkey. That's the coolest monkey. It's not like the monkey. So, the kid doesn't ask the problem. The If the statement wants monkey equals black people, now that's a different yeah, story. Yes. You're, you're so, understand? Because that's a, that's a direct, direct insult. That, that's that's when, I, when I said Donald Trump attacks, it's because he goes, oh, direct. uh... Mexicans are all are all illegal and drug addicts and stuff like that. Rapists. He came out of the football players. All these savages. Black son of a bitch. He literally said, all these black son of a bitches that are kneeling for the national anthem will all get fired. Just like that. The tweet is on Twitter. So can I prove a point real quick to you, Mikaela? This is this is this is where it comes. Like look, us us as human beings. So for example, if the sweater was never on 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 any little kid, I'm gonna give you this example real quick. And it was on the shelf. And you bought it because you liked it. Damon bought it for his kid because he liked it. And then it happens that Jason bought it for his, let's say, nephew that happens to be Damon's kid. And he likes it. How is that racist? I agree. But I didn't say that was racist. I didn't say the sweater in but, itself but in was racist. Okay, no. But, but what we're talking about, the fact that... Exactly. But, but how? No, but why? Because we feel like saying that? No. We live. We live in a world where uh, where racism existed for how long now? For anything ever, you can say can be considered that way. Get over consider. yourselves. Like for anything, but you can, yo. can't tell somebody who to get over how they feel. That, then we're never going to develop but, as yo, human beings. Yo, first of all, we're not going to develop like this either. We're not though. developing because we're staying in the same thing. We're going because backwards. We just, like if if I say something that, but you can't tell somebody how to feel if people no, you are can't. outraged and upset over this image and upset about what's going on. It's because that term monkey, like you said before, has been used in a negative connotation. Might as well just take that out and put nigga. Right. Okay, okay, hold on, give me, give me, hold on, you prove this point after me. Bienvenidos al show. Entonces, cuando tú has visto un dominicano que se encojona. Cuando le dicen plátano. When have you seen a Dominican get mad and tell them plátano? Never. They embrace it and they enjoy it and they walk off with it. But the thing is that you're never, you never going to tell an a, a, a African-American rapper, be like, yo, you got to stop saying the word nigga. But you're, you're talking about nigger versus nigga. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter. Because if a white guy it's comes around in a, in a group of black guys and he says nigga, it's a problem. Oh, problema. Ay, Dios mío, ¿por qué tú dices nigga? Pero tienen cinco horas en el yo manejo. Es que yo, yo, la otra nigga over there, que es okay. And that nigga over there. I think it, you know. What I think as people, we're picking and choosing when to get upset, upset about things. About things. And, and, and and I just I just hate the fact that this little kid, that's what I'm saying. this that's little what I'm kid had a great opportunity. And now because of this, and, and now exactly. and now that's all these grown ups are being all sensitive and butter what the fact that it was presented in this way. But reality is, to be honest, I applaud the little kid. Shit, I want to be a fucking model for H and M. You know what I mean? But we're all trying to focus now on the fact what his sweater said. But Yo, get over sure it. But my hope thing, wrong with this. Like, that's he, correct. But that's that's, that's, on, but that's so. the innocence. That's the innocence that we're trying to protect. And unfortunately, this corporate this, company, this corporate company, 
put out an image that I need you guys to understand, put out an image that they knew was going to be controversial. If you have so many people that are so intelligent working in your corporate office, approving and denying images left and right, and you're going to approve an image where there's a child that has a career later on in the future, is going to follow him. So they Kendall Jenner has this. lost millions of dollars because of her Pepsi thing, Pepsi commercial. She didn't take it that way at all. She was, in fact, the same point of view as all of you. But people were so upset about what was going on and so enraged that she lost so much endorsements. She lost so much money. And if you even see her now, she's not even up there anymore. She has stopped modeling but, for such a long time because it's hurt her career. You are hindering the career of a child. But this is, That's what, my this point. is what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to say. That innocence that you're talking about, they're damaging it. Not, not the, and it's not, not H&M, da- it's not H&M, H&M, H&M damaging. It's not H&M damaging. It's the people. people it's the, the people damaging. Because it's not H&M. Because it's it's the people. Because, because it's, 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 listen, it's cool to tell... I think it's no, both. It's cool, I, I think it's, it's both. No, it's cool to tell, tell your kid, yo, you got to be aware. There's some people, that, some older people out there that are fucking racist. That they're going to say this and this and this. But don't worry about it. <laughs> don't do nothing like that. Just keep it moving and do your thing. You know what I mean? Be aware that there's people like that. Because obviously, the old white heads, they see me walking, they won't talk to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm Dominican. I'm not even African American. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. People tell me all the time, oh, you're not black. Trust me and believe. If I'm what? Not even. I work at T Mobile. I, people come up to me, oh, uh, you speak Spanish? Si, senora. Uh, I need somebody to speak Spanish. Senora, let's have a in español. I'm literally, senora, I'm not, I, senora, I'm not for you that. Somebody that speaks Spanish, please. You, you, did you hear the sentence? Senora, I'm not for you that. They look at me and they think, oh, this guy's African-American. And like, I've seen, the, I've seen it happen. Me, it happens. People like, come up to me, they don't talk to me in English. I went up in the stores, I don't think I speak English. And I understand everything that you guys are trying to say. But again, we are in an area right now in the world where the world is completely upset and outraged for things that have been going on over and over and over again. I participated in a, in a walk against Donald Trump in New York for DACA. And you can just see how upset these people are exactly. because of things that have hit them. Well, so what I'm, I'm trying to say is that if you knew this was going to be upsetting to some type of popular public right now because that's what's going on, people aren't going to pick and choose what to be upset about over and over again. So if, they, if you knew this was going to be something that was going to be targeted, why would you release that image? Maybe well, they first of all, first of all, actually, wait, that's, what, if, what, if they, what if they completely thought that people were going to think that's so cute, all the cutest monkeys. Oh, no. Yeah. No, what do you mean? Because, no, because images Why not? Back back again have occurred the same thing has happened over and over again. And so as a, as a company who makes so much money, wouldn't you be smart enough to say, you know what, this might be a tad controversial, let me not put this out there, let me change it. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. No. no. So let me, let me ask you a question. If I, have, if I have a model, and my model is a dark model, and he can't wear that, oh, it's the cutest monkey, that, 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 that can't be my model. Hold on. That's People racist. pick and choose their models all the time. Okay, Miguel, so my question is to you. My, my question to you is the following. Calvin Klein is what? It's consistent. Okay, but they have black models. But he said, in an, he said in an interview he doesn't want black people buying his product. He said it in an interview. But, that's but, but yeah, you have a right? black model. But that's because that he per- wants to target a certain population. And he tried to redeem himself multiple times after that. But that's but he said it. But he brought that up. Yeah, that's what I heard. He brought that up. I know, I know, but... What I'm, what I'm trying to say, that's completely different. What You never heard the people like that, oh, yeah, we got to make uh, these black kids. Oh, we got this black kid, and we're going to put him in a monkey suit. My, fra- oh, no, my favorite animal is perfect because this sweater is amazing. If, I, if this sweater was this large, like for men, I would totally fucking buy this. Because I'm a fuck. I consider myself a monkey. So I, I like the fuck. sweater. I was, a fuck. I was born in the year of the monkey in the Chinese calendar, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to go. We need to wrap this baby up. Listen, I, I, I just strongly believe that we need to stop picking and choosing when we're going to get mad. If we're going to get mad about something, make sure that that thing that you're getting mad about is across the board. No matter what skin color you have, no matter how tall you are, no matter what your physical appearance is, it's across the board. If that's what it was going to be on a white boy, I want you to get mad. If that's what it was going to be on an Asian kid, I want you to get mad. 
You understand what I'm trying to say? I want I, no because I, I just feel like if we're if we're really gonna be pushing for equality, we're gonna be pushing to like all be the same. Let's get mad about the same thing for everybody as humans, not as our skin color, not as our history, not where we came. You understand what I'm trying to say? And make sure make sure that's clear. And whatever these high companies, I think these high companies should definitely look into what is being presented and how other people might perceive it. But understand that if you release something, stick with it. Aunque te lleve quien te trajo, stick with it because this is what you believe in. I understand that they've, they've lost some sponsorship. Um, the weekend is no longer working with them, etc., etc., etc. But whatever it is that you pick, go with it. It is a cruel world. We do live in a cruel world. Welcome to our lives. Who really controls the world? We the do. The kids don't do it. Media. The social media controls Exactly. But who, who's in social media? Adults. Or adults. Fuck the people. No, adults. adults are not just the only ones on social media. Let's be real. There's kids kid, out there all the time. A kid, a, a 16 year old is going to see this. Oh, that shit, that shit don't look cool. Bueno, mi gente, hasta aquí llegamos nosotros. El negro que te lo hace a la oscuro, yo cover Chony Chapa, que es duro de lo duro, fuerte de lo fuerte. Aquí en Al Oscuro, el negro, con el colito lindo de la radio. Y Jason David. Y Sarita. Y Micaela. Yo soy un mono, veo a todo el mundo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that shit was pretty good, right? <laughs>